3 News Now is looking at ways to help you and area businesses overcome the effects of the pandemic and rebound from them. Movie theaters went dark for a few months, but now some are starting to open again. Yeah, many people are looking forward to heading back indoors to watch their favorite movies on the big screen. 3 News Now reporter Daniel Davis shines a spotlight on the Metro's newest theater in Elkhorn that's sure to be a blockbuster. The opening of the newest theater in the metro area should have been a big hit. ATX Cinema 12 has the largest commercial movie screen in the state of Nebraska. But the pandemic postponed its grand opening, and once it did open its doors, it struggled to stay open. We opened up to uh, really poor numbers. You know, most theaters were running less than 10% of normal. It isn't until the last couple weeks when a big film called Godzilla vs. Kong opened up that we bumped up a little bit. Hollywood also shut down and stopped making films and they also lost a few films to streaming. With the new Cinema Safe program, they are hoping more and more people will feel comfortable heading back to the theaters. To watch people start coming back, um, I actually walked out in the parking lot and I took a picture of watching uh, people leaving their cars and walking towards the front doors and it just had a very cool look. When they made the switch to reclining chairs, they removed 60% of their seating so they already had good spacing between rows. You can buy tickets at the on-site kiosk or purchase online, all to avoid the crowds. When you go to purchase your tickets online, you can actually see the seat map and you can see where people might be seating already. As it is, the algorithm will block out a seat on either side of you anyways. Movie theaters can have some of the best cleaning protocols to make people feel safe, but to really get people back in those seats, well, that depends on Hollywood and the movies they put out. So even though Nebraska's made great strides in getting vaccines and getting a little more back to normal, the reality is we need more film. Barsho adds that while some theaters close for good, being a local company and having strong relationships with their landlords and bankers really helped them out. He said they also had to become lobbyists. We would work the phones many weeks, hours a day. We'd be on the phone talking to congressional offices, senatorial offices, anybody we could talk to to tell our story and why we needed uh, assistance or some sort of policy assistance to help us get through what we were going through. The loyalty of some of their best customers also proved to be invaluable. Ah, the experience, but here specifically because the theater is not only reclining seats, but heated seats. They have the most unbelievable concession stand. The popcorn is perfect. You can't have better popcorn than here. And they have everything from sangria slushies to anything else you could ask for and then now they have full service so now you can actually just go sit down and they'll wait on you so it's perfect. And some things the theater started doing during the peak of the pandemic are here to stay. We still sell a lot of to-go uh, popcorn for families that are having movie night at home. Although they have been open since August with the full restaurant and bar, an outdoor movie theater with the fire pit, they are holding off on an official grand opening. When Fast and Furious 9 opens on June 25th, we're blowing this one out. In Elkhorn, Danielle Davis, 3 News Now. Uh, ACX Cinema in Elkhorn and the theater in Exarban Village is part of the same local franchise. They do have student, teacher, and military discounts, as well as $5 Tuesdays. You can go to acxcinema.com for details.